Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts with MioXFu and last time, well, I am on the road we joined the road crew. This is my stop sign. Yeah, look, we got a stop sign, so we joined the road crew and, uh, well, we went into... The... Oh, crap! <laughs> I forgot. Oh, yeah. Why are you wearing gloves? What is the purpose of the goggles? Who is the milkman? Where did you get the red sign? What happened inside that house? <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, basically, if you, uh, blow road, your cover like that. Right. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome you to get the interrogated. And, yeah, it's not really fun. I will say that this is the best, uh, death animation that I ever have ever seen in any game. Um... <laughs> Do I have to say why? It's creative, it's funny, fits in. Um, it's absolutely crazy. But uh, last time, we j went to the asylum. Uh, well, no, that was two times ago. Uh, we went in the mind of Boyd, the guard for the asylum, because, well, we need to get past him in order to go into the asylum. I can listen to any phone conversation that I want, but do not because of my sense of professional responsibility. Oh, how I'm nice of you. The telephone lines. But anyway, we gotta fix. We gotta figure out how to get a well landscaped yard into the. I work. Stop. This we have to stop. figure out a way to this get into the asylum somehow. So I guess the best way to do it stop. is to just uh, yeah. Go into the mind of the guy who controls the gate. I was wondering if we could actually get in the backyard without them noticing, but no, I guess not. Hello, sir. I am oh. a rainbow squirt. Would you like to buy a box of my delicious rainbow treats? Hello yourself. I would buy some cookies, but I don't have any milk. Do you have any idea where I could <laughs> buy some milk for my cookies? Ah, creepy man. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, um, if I was a little, I'd say like six, seven, eight years old, um, if I was a little girl, and I was, you know, even a teenager like Raz, I'm gonna say like 12, 13 probably, uh, came up and asked, do you have some milk for my cookies like that? I'd probably freak out and be like, oh my god, what are you, what are you on? Stop talking to me! About. You're going to get me in trouble! Trouble for what? Come on! It's not like these secret agents are gonna notice anything. Oh. You think I'm a milk thief too, huh? Huh, punk? <laughs> uh, I do kind of like the rainbow squirts. And we'll find out why a little later. <laughs> it always feels like this, uh, this level is just a little later. A little later. That is one of the things I do like about this uh, this level. Everything is set up very well, um, context-wise. Uh, like we've met the secret agents, we've met the rainbow squirts. They're all gonna come into play later. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll, it'll... This is not gonna be the last time we see them. Oh boy. Jeez. Rasputin, careful what you say. First you ask a little girl for some milk for your cookies. I mean, anybody could take that. Eh, I mean, that's not that's not really too bad. But now you're gonna go trim hedges? Jeez. <laughs> this game's getting a little uh, PG-13, I think. Alright, anything else? No? No? Okay. Good enough. Alright. So... Well, well, let's go back to uh, the gardeners, and let's go trim some hedges with them, I guess. I guess it's a hedge trimming party or something. Uh, Come work on the phone lines with us. Kind of weird, but whatever. I am glad you are here to help me trim these hedges. Oh, I'm glad I'm here, too. It is a good day for that activity you mentioned. Please join me. I guess, if you say so. I don't know, I'm just... I'm just here in disguise. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna you are here to help me really discuss hedges. the fiber, finer points of trimming hedges with you. Thanks very much. Oh look! What a happy little handbag. Oh. <laughs> I 
All right. Anything else in here? I this wish we could play the radio. I used to make Man. I like oh, to hey, we can... I like to trim hedges. He actually used those, the hedge trimmers for a second. That was cool. I've never seen that before. Oh, well. Guess we can't get past here, uh... Stop. Unless we have a rolling pin, can we? Area. I am glad you are nah, here. I guess not. Me trim these hedges. Guess we gotta be a uh, uh, domestic housewife or something. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. Got you already, house. What is this? Hey, let's check you guys. What are you guys doing? I like to trim hedges. Why don't you go do that then, somewhere else? Yeah, but what are you guys doing? I'm just gonna walk through, okay? The sewers are not safe for civilians, and they smell very bad. <laughs> okay, these got these guys are definitely my favorite. Every time I see them, just playing the most pleasant sewers can be found. Whatever song, friends. like I'd, I'd love if that actually corresponded to a song. Um, no every time I see them playing the trumpet with their plungers or just plunging their faces off, it just I am a waste management technician. We can't help but giggle, you know. <laughs> Just a funny, uh, funny, funny sight. Anyway, what's in this house? And we, oh yeah, we got a shield upgrade, but whatever, it's a shield upgrade. We don't, yeah, we don't really use a shield in this game, because... I don't know, it doesn't really pop up. Now this... Can be found in Paris, I don't know. It takes me a while, usually, when I come up here, I'm like, okay, where do I go now? Because I just see the yellow line. And I'm not... I don't know, I don't think... Oh, just go right by. That's that's a very minor complaint, I know. Um, And that's that's more of a... Oh, I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> I'll get to the real complaints in a second. I just wanna, I just want you guys to know, this is going to be the complaining episode. I am gonna let out a can of complain, and it won't be pretty. But I, I, I feel like it's uh, something that needs to be addressed because everybody loves this. Everybody loves this, this, this level. I think it's good. But, I mean, you saw my Gogolore, uh video. I love that episode even more. I think that's a perf- almost- an almost perfect episode. Anyway, let's look at, a uh, memory. Boyd fired again! Ah, Boyd Cooper. Keep forgetting his last name. It's dead on, man. Looking good on the job. Wait, what? That's terrible. Wait, wait. Okay, I thought, um, I thought I saw, like, a whiskey bottle in the basket, but that's just his badge. I'm thinking, like, I still don't know why he got fired. Because, again, it looks like he's doing a bang-up job. But, uh, there is one weird thing about this. Oh, man, fired from Hernando's. Aw, oh, I feel bad for you. Oh. 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 So you're the milkman. Look at that, look at that. He's using bottles of milk filled with milk milk molotovs. Milkatovs. Hmm. So does that mean the milkman's just everywhere? <laughs> I mean come on, who 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 really doubted he was the milkman? This guy needs a Not me, I knew it all along. I knew it all along. Can't fool me. <laughs> I actually don't remember. Like, if that was like, oh, hey, whoa, he's the milkman. Probably. Because I don't remember there being any real hints of him being the milkman. I remember there's hints that, uh, kind of looks like the milkman. And that he's crazy, but this is other my than that. Can. <laughs> I forgot we could do this! Oh my god! <laughs> oh man, I forgot we could do that. Um, I was actually meaning to talk to him, but, um, let's see. Well, let's try some, uh, telekinesis then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoops. Alright, let's try some telekinesis then. Alright. <sighs> there we go. It's really hard to work this, uh, menu with the keys on the keyboard. Uh, let's try some pyrokinesis. Why don't you come in here and do that, tough guy? 
<laughs> oh, I like that. But you can only lift their heads, not the rest of them. That, tough guy. What about this? I am on fire. I am uncomfortable. Initiating countermeasures. Without water, these plants would die. Aw, so you have countermeasures. That's not cool. But I do like that you have a sprinkler under your head. Oh, that's great. All right, anything else we can do with you? Nah, too bad. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, see what we can see. All right, now um, this is my major complaint. Um, all right, so we go in here. We're like, oh, okay, new place. This looks different than everything else. I bet there's going to be something important here. So we go over here, and it's like, oh, a little kid playing in the grass. Figment, we're going to collect them. Yeah, six, six figments. And we go over here, and we see, oh, there's a kid playing in the grass. And oh, my God. Flowers. And I forgot to tell you, but uh, the graveyard we went by, uh, you need uh, flowers to act. Let's just go over there right quick, because it'll take like five seconds. You need flowers to act. Hey, I'm just gonna walk through, okay? Sorry, we widows are busy grieving in here. You have no flowers. So we need flowers to act as a grieving widow, as a disguise. Uh, yeah, so you find a disguise for the graveyard. That was my bad. And you go over here, and it's like, oh, okay, there's the flowers. I bet I have to go around, but that way it's blocked off with, uh... You know, iron bars and stuff. So we go over here. You look at blade in the ga grass again. We go through here. It's like, okay. There's a crow. And then, um... Iron gates. What do we do? And then... If you're smart, you do something to the, the crow to make... To startle him off. And then you find this. And, uh, of course, uh, you're gonna run into this if you get frustrated or something like I did. Sometimes you can use clairvoyance on an object to see from the point of view of the holder, or the owner. So basically what we want to do is hold it, go to clairvoyance, go to use it, and it'll show the crow. And it'll show the gates open. And then we'll go out, we'll go around, and we'll see the gates closed. So I'll just keep going back here. Trying new things, trying to figure out why it closed, not realizing. Like, this is this is one of my complaints. I didn't, I, there is almost no tell except for a faint sound that you can hear right now. Like a half second delay of another gate opening or closing. And that is the only way to tell that that gate opens and closes along with this one. So what we have to do is just jump over. That is one of the biggest problems I have with this level. Because... I did not realize just how important it was to use clairvoyance on that crowd. I'm gonna argue that that is something that they did wrong. Because when I played this... I, I, it wasn't just like, oh, well, yeah, of course I'm going to use it when they tell me. Um, I I don't know. Again, it could be argued that there there's nothing wrong with that, that I was just dumb. But every time I go through this level, I forget it. And I have to, I have to tell myself, okay, you remember this part where you're stupid. Don't forget to do this. <laughs> and it kind of ruins this whole level for me because I'm sitting here like frustration because there's nothing else you can get from here. I think you can get like no, you can't get a uh, you can't get a new tool from here. I think you can get like one other tool, but it, you can't use it yet uh, later on. Let's just grab a few more things. Get the uh, steamer trunk bag or ta duffel bag tag, whatever. Should have cleared these houses first. Get out of my way, Rainbow Squirt. God. Actually, I wonder. I am a grieving widow. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure whether we could actually uh like go up to them and be like, eh, 
must be out of range or something. Yeah, you're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> if we ha had another item to go under another disguise. Got it. So this is also a point where I usually wouldn't have the cobweb duster because I don't want to go around looking for arrowheads for like half an hour to get 800 arrowheads. So I'd be like, oh crap, now I gotta go back. Get that cobweb duster because I always think, hey wait, no, there's something in here that I need to get. Nope. It's figments. And it always pisses me off every time I get back here and find out that no, it's not that that we have to do. Oh hey, rainbow squirts whispering into the bushes. Who are they who are they working with then? I didn't know they were part of the conspiracy. But I guess I should have known better. <laughs> Everybody's a part of the conspiracy here. Alright. So then you finally work your way up here. And you go over here. And you're like, oh it's another car. And you get the watering can. And you're like, oh well I remember that there were guys Back in the the other house that had watering cans, you know, and then been there. I think. <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember. Oh, oh, I love this. I love this part. Just three mailboxes up here, <laughs> or four mailboxes. I thought it was three. Oh man, that's even better. For no reason. Oh, drunk ass, uh, drunk ass postman on the job. What's wrong with you? All right, we'll get back to you later. I mean, the name of this the name of this level is Clairvoyance the level. <laughs> Forgot what it was. I was gonna say like, is it telepathy? But no, not telepathy either. All right. So before we go and talk Water to the grieving widows, again, can. Yeah, again this is a let's board. play. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, go through this the way I would go through this, which would be. Oh, hey, I got the watering can. I mean, I didn't go, I didn't get rage and go back to the, uh... I am making a pie. I didn't rage and go back to the, uh... To the campground to get the cobweb duster. We already had that, but... And now I'm gonna leave the house with the bowling pin. Or the, not the bowling the pin. Man? With Where the rolling pin. Did you burn down the department store? <laughs> what did the rainbow squirt tell you? Where did you get the red sign? What happened inside that house? Because that's how I play the game as well. <laughs> oh yeah, one too many items, so you can press uh I am making a pie. One or two again to get through it. Don't worry about it. Um <laughs> It's different on the console versions than it is on the PC versions or something like that. But anyway. I always go out with the rolling pin because I always forget. Oh, um, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Not Euclidean geometry. <laughs> Gonna kill me. <laughs> but I always forget. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta re-equip my disguise. So I always get screwed over. So then I'm like, okay, we get a we get a rolling pin. That means we can go back here, right? There's gonna be something over here. I think I remember there being something over here that we have to do. I'm glad you were here. So we're just gonna use the disguise, come in, and be like, "Hey, look!" I hope you are not trying to steal my husband, Tramp. Hey, don't call me a tramp, you whore. Please stay and make pie. My stories are about to come. And we go in here, and it's like, "Oh, ammo up and two figments." Shoot. And then. I Oh, and I forget again. Why are you wearing <laughs> it's okay, gloves? it'll actually put Who us closer the to the end. Where were you born? What did the rainbow squirt tell you? Where did you get the red sign? What happened inside that house? I always forget. I always forget to re-equip the right thing. All right. Anyway, what I was saying, I'll itch my eye for a second. I don't want, don't, this is the last place you want to itch your eye and just hold down W or forward or whatever. Just go careening off the edge. Due to illegal disposal of hazardous like a car. materials, sewer water is often <laughs> radioactive. But, um... Then I'll spend like half an hour going around, getting more angry and more angry uh, until I, I that you are grieving. figured I that out. Space. I don't know how it could be done better. Boo -hoo. I just know that it's it's not the best solution. All right, pyrokinesis, kinesis, indeed. Yes. 
burn. And we'll burn open. Hope no one notices all this fire. I am Yeah, sad. nobody will notice. Come with us. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> I put what away the flowers. Great. The man. Who do you work for? Why did you burn that bush? What did the rainbow <laughs> squirt tell you? Where did you get the red sign? Burning bush. What is this, Moses? Uh, I forgot, uh... I forgot that I need to keep up the flowers while I break down the door. Oh, I do like that. I that you are grieving. I will give you. It punishes you for just being absent-minded like that. So we're gonna open it up and go in here, and it'll be like, okay, there's no milkman, just a book. What is this? What were you doing in the cemetery? Are you a grieving widow? Where are your flowers? What did you, you took them from me. Who is the milkman? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out. That book you found was dynamite. Blows the whole <laughs> thing wide open. It does? Yes. I knew it. I was completely wrong about everything. But now, I've got it. That book came from the book depository. They must want to make us think that's where they want us to go. Because they think we'll think we know they know we know. So we won't go. So... I shouldn't go to the book depository? Of course you're going to the book depository. What? Take the sewers. Watch out for watchers and radioactives and perpetrators. Some of those sewer workers are involved, I think. You'll need one of these. Oh. Now we're talking. It's fake. It will help you fit in around the other assassins. Assassins? Wait a <laughs> second. Beware the cows. <laughs> Not all milk is enriched. Anyway. It's fake. I'm worried the other assassins are gonna make fun of me. <laughs> I love that. But, um... What was I gonna say? Yeah, if any of you can actually figure out what he said... I can probably figure it out while editing, because I've just never taken the time to actually, like, be like, okay. He said, they know that we know that they know that... I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter anyway. He's crazy. Points across. Jeez. Alright. Oh, so anyway, I guess we have to go to the book depository and save JFK? No. Wow. <laughs> um, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Psychonauts with Miox Fu. And we this this is this was the rant episode. It really was. Um the road crew. This is my stop sign. That hedge part is really the only big complaint about this level. Helps me work on the road. Hello, fellow but road crew worker. Welcome to it the road ruins road. this level for me, which is a big deal, because I really, really want to like this level a lot more than I already do. But it just ruins it for me. I mean, if I knew. It was a puzzle. There was some better sort of tell. It would be fine. But there's not. And I really can't give them a... I, I really can't say that there's a better way either. Without making it some other sort of puzzle. So... Now you guys know my deep secret. My deep, dark secret... About... Psychonauts. That I get frustrated and angry because of that puzzle. This job is unsavory, but it must be. And it, ruin by it someone. ruins the rest of the level for me. So next time, on Let's Play Psychonauts, because I didn't get frustrated and angry this time, maybe I'll actually enjoy the rest of it. Because the rest of it is actually really good. I do enjoy the rest of it. But we'll do that next time. On Let's Play Psychonauts with Mio X Fu, I think. Unless this is like criminally under under ten minutes or under fifteen minutes, and if it's under ten minutes, I'm gonna add some more. But if this is like criminally under or criminally under fifteen minutes, then no. If this is like just under fifteen minutes, whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Boyd is ru rubbing off on me. I'm going crazy. Ah! <laughs> See you guys next time. Take it easy.